So I got an invite out to Houston, Texas. I'm going to explore the coolest hotel in all of Houston. Well, at least that's what I was told. And if you're like me, I don't believe it till I see it. I'm going to show you why, because that's what's next. I just drove in three hours from Lafayette, Louisiana, down to Houston, Texas. But first we have to get parked, checked in, so we can really find out how cool this place really is. Let's just go see the room and see what that's all about first so, off. Oh, we are staying at the Marriott Marquis in Houston, Texas. And we've come down here to basically just check out this hotel and cut up as much as possible and have some fun. Why? Because there's a secret over here that I have to tell you about. So yes, this place has a lazy river shaped like Texas. It's supposed to be all lit up for Christmas. Uh, there's an ice skating rink across the street. There's a infinity spot where you can see out over the lake. There's fire pits, there's a bar, there's restaurants, and you're in the heart of Houston. And by the way, right next door is Minute Maid Park. That is George Brown Convention Center right down there. And that's where actually my photography career started. One of the very first conferences I ever went to was there. And then right there is actually Toyota. That's where the Rockets play. That's the basketball court. What I found out real quick, it's $60 to valet here. I think it's about $300 a night. It's not a cheap place, but for a once in a lifetime experience, what the hell? And why not go on a detour? All right, this place is pretty badass. Holy crap. So there's gonna be a live band tonight or a DJ or something, music till 10 o'clock. So we're gonna come back here at seven and our room is up there somewhere. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up either in my jeans in there or in shorts. I don't know, we got some shorts upstairs. 72 degrees and I think it's only supposed to be 66 tonight. Yeah, no more jeans and two shirts. But we're gonna get my best impersonation of, look, I'm Superman now. Uh-oh, it's about to go down. Ooh, it's kind of dark in here. Check out the view. That is a pool that is shaped like Texas. Holy crap, how do you turn the lights on in this place? That's, yeah, great. I turn on a light to the mini bar. That's not gonna help. Okay, so it, if you want the quick dine tour, it's got a shower, it's got a mirror that gives you really, really, really good lighting. It's got a closet. That's where you store the dead bodies. And a couch and a TV, and it has a bed. a bed. So that's all you really need. Now to get changed and go check out the sixth floor because that's the only thing important here. And that's what's gonna make this place, is it the coolest hotel in Houston? Let's find out. Now I'm changed and ready to go down to the sixth floor and open a tab. And by no means that I expect to end up here. I had no clue about this hotel, never even heard of it. I'm, I'm feeling so trashy. Here's the pool. Boom, with the reflection in the building. That is so sick. Let's get down there and check it out. Sixth floor, here we come. There's lights. There's a nice breeze. It's actually cooler here than it was downtown. There's a gym. Why would I ever go in a gym and work out? Connect four with lights in it. And they said they got spots set up all over the place so you can do like self. We can do Smurf Jeff. Oh my God, look at this. You can walk across the deck. All right, this is kind of cool. You got bridges over the Texas and neon lights going through it. It's a tree full of LED. It's an LED tree. Well, it makes for really cool lighting whenever you kind of stand in here. You can. Whoa. Time to get a drink. Make my life easy. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> so it kind of looks like an infinity pool, but it has the walkway in between there and the edge. So we're six stories up and you can like walk down the side of it. Now they have all the Christmas lights out. They got a live DJ. They got everything going on tonight. And people coming in finally. Kind of been here for a little bit, but hey, they're coming. Like, I seriously have to find some lights like this. Some tube lighting, LED tube lighting. Because look at this lighting. This is kind of cool. 
and I honestly think one more drink and it's time to fall in. Uh, fall out. Get in. Do something. I don't know, but we're going to find out. Ow. Oh, it's not. Okay, so they totally said it was like warm. <laughs> it's not that warm. It's December in Houston, and I'm in a pool. I kind of hurt. <laughs> it's kind of cold. When they say warm uh, river, it's not really warm. It's kind of cold. With this backdrop, you really can't complain. <laughs> Oh, Jerry, look at this. So you get over here, and you can see the whole thing. I'm on the sixth floor of the hotel. That's the place. <laughs> I found somebody. Oh. So like at 10 o'clock these dudes come out in force talking about We close, we close, we close, we close 10 o'clock on Saturday night and they say get out of here Okay, so she's way over there. I'm over here, and you can't see this, but I can hear her talk. And I want to see if my microphone will pick you up. <laughs> Mac and cheese. <laughs> oh my God, if I sit forward, it gets even louder. Sit forward. Now talk. Oh my God. Yeah, now, oh my God, now you like, now. It's like you're sitting on my shoulder. It's like surround sound. That is freaking wicked. Oh my God, it's so <laughs> There's a gorilla on a scooter in Houston. Okay, so when you're downtown Houston and you're walking through ballet and they got a G-Wagon, but then the sprinklers are on washing it and in front of it's a Bentley and they're both getting hit by the sprinklers. Free car washes. Free car washes in Houston. So now we're over to the cell phone because now we got a memory cards on the GoPro. So is, but we're at the Rustic with wet pants. brisket and a couple of beers and we're gonna head back over to the hotel and call it a night. But if I get an opportunity to come back to the Rustic, I think I'm gonna have to come back here much earlier and try some more food because even the mac and cheese and brisket was pretty damn good. Oh my god! She made me too much mac and cheese! What in the hell? I don't know what it is, but it's something. It's art. Okay. Oh, that's fancy. We almost got ran over by a golf cart. I mean, not a scooter. <laughs> golf cart. Ooh, it's been a long day. Good morning from downtown Houston. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning. Gonna head back to the house. But we gotta talk about this hotel. Because whether or not this damn thing is the coolest hotel in downtown Houston. Of course, we were out on the pool deck, which at 10 o'clock on the dot, they shut it down. They threw everybody out. So I went up to the room, to take a shower, and I don't know what was up with this shower, but you turn it on, like 80% on and it, there was no pressure. Then you turn it all the way on and it was pressure, but it was nuclear fission and it burned me. And I had to use a towel to cool down the water and it was ridiculous. Honestly, the worst 
shower ever. It's so hot that I feel like I'm a crawfish boiling. I might have to say, overall, potentially, this could have been the coolest hotel ever. What it turns out to be is very expensive for a lot of stupid little things that go wrong. This trip to Houston was fun. I got to see a lot of new places that I never saw before. Check out a few things and show you a few things. So maybe one day I'll come up with a scale to rank places on a scale of one to 10 or something, or one to 100, I don't know. Figure that out as we go, because everything's a detour and everything is, I'm figuring out as I go. Bye bye Houston. Because we gotta go find out what's next.